I remembered a lot about what the experience was and I've been putting it into play ever since. Um, the first heaven is a place that most of us go to, like 98% of us. And uh, the whole works of art, it took me almost four, a little over four and a half years to do. And uh, in their frames, the painting is uh, 18 feet wide by four feet high. There's five panels making up the, the whole collage of it. And uh, it's the first heaven, the second heaven, and the house of God. And in between the other panels is uh, angelic script translations. And there is over 1,100 characters of angelic script so you can figure out what's going on in the paintings and what they say. So, um, I had dreams up until 2009, it's like two years after that, uh, uh, visiting other planets it seemed. Uh, they were a lot like Earth, but there was plant life on these planets that I've never seen before. The people were way different. Uh, they were humans. And I just chalked it up to being a weird dream, but I, I realized later that it wasn't a weird dream, it was a vision. And 2009 came along and God took my left eye. I became blind in my left eye basically because I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. You know, when you have uh, three kids and seven grandkids, your life can be pretty busy. But I dedicated myself to start on the project, the first, second, and third heaven. And right after that, in 2009, it was around June, I think. Uh, I was shown the first heaven by an angel, a, a woman angel. And I remember how beautiful it was. There was huge, tall buildings of solid gold and was monolithic in form. There was really, really wonderful trees and and plant life and flowers and, and there was a creek right next to the road and the road was uh, paved in gold pavers and gold curbs and and uh, the flowers and the, the trees and the, the, even the brook was in my consciousness and they were greeting me and I looked at the angel and the angel said, you were given a vision of the first heaven. Not very many people are afforded this vision, but it's for you to start putting out there and put it into your art. I just can't remember anything more wonderful and beautiful, but uh, my angel told me that uh, there's two other heavens and that there are even more just beautiful and it's just beyond words. Um, I never had a feeling like that ever before uh, and having since being there in the first heaven and she explained to me what that heaven was and I will go into that a little later. But for right now, I am going to show you the first heaven and play the song, You Tell, 
Hope you enjoy. of everyone else that doesn't make us very um, unique but we are uh, basically we are biochemical robots uh, you have to understand that uh, a lot of you probably still don't believe in God but I want to explain to you that just look at your own uniqueness now, the programming of everybody else, or the descriptions of everyone else, is how you gain your personality. And your personality dictates what type of person you are. And the things about the uniqueness of yourself, well, just take a look at your, your, uh, your DNA, for example. Your DNA is like no other person. Everyone's DNA is different. And that goes for your fingerprints, your palm prints, even your eye, your retina in your eye. There's no two alike. How weird is that? Come on now. Think about it. If there wasn't a God, how could this all come about through a blind force? A blind force is basically an explosion 
that's a blind force. Now, I don't know about you, but I just, I just cannot see the correlation between the blind force and all the incredible detail in all the creations around this. Now, karma, karma is unique because we all have our own karma as well. Let's say you were a total jackass in a previous life and your sins were forgiven, but God pr pretty much said, no, nah, you, you made a lot of bad choices. You're going to come back and live another life. And that karma is going to be built up to where you have to pay that karma back. And the only the thing that God expects out of us is basically three things. The how and why Christ died. To be able to repent our discretions. And to love God and His Son. That's it. That's pretty much the three things. Now, you wonder where God is. Well, God's in a different dimension. And our spirits are from a different dimension. And our bodies are just basically containment vessels for that spirit. Everything has a spirit. The Indians used to believe that everything had a spirit, even the rocks. Well, and down from a molecular structure, uh, if you look at rocks... They also contain a piezoelectric charge to them. It, is that not life? Electricity? It's something to ponder. Uh, another thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, on all three paintings, I have put my living angel in, in the paintings. It's my wife, Michelle. She has been my light and my strength all throughout, ever since I've known her. So I've immortalized her in these paintings. And I've also put my relatives, my dead relatives in there too, because I think they're angels right now. So I'm going to start talking about the second heaven. And the second heaven is only if you deserve the second heaven. Now what I mean by that is if your karma is all balanced to the good, then you can go to the second heaven. And the second heaven is basically a place where you learn how to be in the presence of God. There is great universities and schools of all different types and how to be in the presence of God. And it's all correlated to your own core beliefs when you die and go to heaven. A lot of us come back and live another life until we get it right. And God does not want to waste anything, especially you. So these universities, are their sole purpose is to show you that there is no negativity in heaven there is no curse like there is on, here on earth there is no hunger there's no thirst and you're wondering if you're just going to be some kind of a spirit body well no you're not you're going to have a physical body in heaven and because I did when I went to the first heaven I was breathing and just like like I am right now and the the angel told me that uh, there was ten planets with humans on it throughout the universe and I showed them ten planets in the second painting of the, the second heaven and the middle of the painting uh, there is uh, words that, that go up. You read them from the bottom to the to the top before you enter the gate. 
and it basically says benevolence rewarded welcome those that possess golden mask and the mask is basically what we all wear we all wear a mask whether it's golden or not is to be determined by the time you leave this world if you have a golden mask you will go right to the second heaven you will bypass the first heaven but not very many people get to do that uh, but just just because you don't go to the second heaven and you go to the first heaven that does not mean that you will not go to the second heaven from the first heaven it just depends on the karma you've built up um, the mask but I give you an example like Mother Teresa for example probably went straight to the second heaven because she was wonderful just the way she went about her life she gave everything she gave her all and you can expect that out of a person to be able to just bypass the first heaven but she still had to go to the second heaven before she was in the presence of God because the total reward is unbelievable as far as what you can do and what you cannot do and mostly uh, the cannot do's is very minuscule to what you can do it's a wonderful wonderful absolutely indescribable place to go and it is the reward so I'm going to show you the second heaven the painting and it's uh, the title of the painting is the path of the golden mask and the song is spirit rides I hope you enjoy
now we come down to the house of God. In 2014, I was given visions in my dreams of what the house of God would be like. I was gifted in this sense. I don't understand why God chose me. Uh, I am very, very much just a regular person, just like your neighbor, just like yourself. But he chose me probably because no one would believe me. Uh, I've pondered that many, many times. Um, I've had several other visions that I don't care to discuss at the moment, but I'll do it in the next installment. Um, in 2014, when I started the painting, uh, I developed a boil in my butt crack and it was about two inches long and one inch wide and it would not heal. It would drain and fill up, drain and fill up, drain and fill up and it was just a big, big pain in my ass. But I just figured it was a small price to pay for this um, incredible accomplishment. And as I went along, and I was close to being halfway done, it was in June, and I started to feel gloom and, and doom and dread, and I was just very, very subconscious about what's going to happen when I finish this painting. Is God going to take me home? I just felt like I was going to be taken. And I started slowing down on this painting. I just, you know, I didn't want to leave yet. You know, I figured I had a lot more artwork to do. But the gloom and doom persisted. And I get to the point where I was almost finished. It was about a week before I was going to be finished. And I got a phone call. And... On the other end of the phone was a person telling me that my best friend had died and had a heart attack and died in his in his uh, recliner chair, and he was there helping somebody out of, again because this this man would give you the shirt off of his back if you needed it. He was that kind of a person, and his nickname was Smiley. And it's, it's fitting because he just helped anyone and everyone. And after a good hard day's work helping a woman out, he sat down in a recliner and had a massive heart attack. And ironically, the day that I signed my painting and finished and down in the right-hand corner, they put him in the ground that very day. And I can't help feel that my buddy Smiley took my place. And I'll always feel that. But as far as what the, the house of God goes, Christ told everyone and, and who would listen that the house of God has many, many doors. And there is many, many doors in this painting but it's got a lot of uh, infinity spheres and well I guess I'll just let you see for yourself this is the house of God and the song is called Crazy Bone. 